Welcome to Research Design Build. One of the subscribers uh, recently had a question in regards to HRVs, uh, heat recovery ventilators, and how to install a uh, another timer. So if you're doing a basement renovation or something like that, adding another bathroom, you might want to add another timer. So we're going to go through uh, how to install a new one, how to wire it in. It's pretty straightforward, so uh, we'll get started. So the first step uh, would be to disconnect the HRV from any power. Uh, so you can do that at the breaker, or in my case, it's just plugged into the wall, so I can unplug it here. Um, I would go up to the main control panel if you do have one um, upstairs in your house where you set your humidity level, you can turn that off, make sure it's not running, and then uh, disconnect it here at the plug. Your next step would be to go up to an existing uh, timer that you have and disconnect it from the wall, pull it out, and you'll be able to see the connections. So here you can see we got two greens, two blacks, and two reds. Now this is the one that's in my basement, and so this is sort of the first one, um, is the first timer. So one of these green wires, one of these black wires, and one of these red wires is growing to the HRV unit. And then the other red, black, and green wire is going upstairs to the first timer on the circuit. So the other thing you want to pay attention to when you're looking at uh, the one that's installed elsewhere in your house is make sure that you've got your colors staying the same. So in all of them, you know, the one on the right will be green, black in the middle, red on the left hand side, and then also make sure that on the control board you don't change the wires. So I like to snap a quick uh, photo with my phone and then make reference to that when I'm wiring it back up. Now here in my manual uh, for the HRV, you'll want to refer to yours. Um, it shows you the three wires. And it shows you where they're connected to um, on the uh, on the circuit, and then it has how they're kind of wired up here. So this is of, of note uh, for mine. It's a maximum of five timers. Um, I'm guessing this is more of a voltage drop issue once you go over that, uh, similar to LEDs. But uh, I know there are some electricians that are subscribed to the channel that might be able to chime in and uh, say if there's any other reason why you couldn't do five. But I believe it's uh, just a voltage drop because it is a low voltage uh, system. So on the side of my HRV, you've got the electrical control panel for my unit, and then you've got all of the low voltage wires that are going into it. Now, according to the diagram, these sort of the fourth, fifth, and sixth wire, counting up from the bottom, are the ones that are going to the timer. The top one is going to the uh, main control panel, and I believe these bottom ones are going to the furnace to turn on uh, the fan. I guess it would be these ones are the bottom ones that are turning on the, uh, the fan for the furnace when this is running uh, to also circulate, uh, circulate air. So with these, uh, this connector does pull straight out. Um, you know, just be careful with it because it is uh, attached to an electronic circuit board. So this pulls straight out. And then there's uh, these little, little clips, um, sort of orange clips. Um, if you uh, push those in a little bit, uh, then those will release the wires and you can pull them out. Now when you're putting in a new timer, you've got to somehow get it in on the circuit. So I found the easiest way because the HRV unit that I have is in the basement and I was wiring uh, a new one into the basement bathroom was I disconnected these three, pulled this wire back and actually used this wire to go into the timer in the bathroom and then ran a new wire from the bathroom to here. So I just added it as sort of the first timer on the circuit. An alternate way to do that would be to unplug these, uh, pull these connectors out, 
um, install a junction box, a surface mount junction box like this that you could run the wires into, and then run, run um, two sets of wires from this back to your switch. And then that way you could also wire, uh, wire it in um, if you didn't want to pull this one all the way back to your bathroom or if this is too short to reach to your bathroom. We'll go out to the shop and I'll explain that hopefully a little bit more clearly. So to wire this in, you're going to need some uh, three conductor 18 gauge wire. This is low voltage wire. So this doesn't, the electrical guys usually aren't uh, too worried about this. This is typically falls under your mechanical inspection for your furnace and that sort of thing. So when we look at how things are currently wired in your system, you've got your heat recovery ventilator and then you got your three connectors coming off of it and then that's going to your timer number one number two etc and so those are wired in like this. And so what we want to do is put timer number three in. So you get two options. You can run new cable from your last timer into here, right? And so it just run from, you know, green would go to the first one, and then that would that would be how the cycle would end, just like it does for your timer two. Usually this is harder because usually this will be up on your second floor or something like that. So what I did was I actually disconnected these cables, brought these down to here, and then ran new cables up to my HRV. So then this guy came down to here, this guy came down to here, and this guy went up to here. And then I had new cables running from here up. And then this is the first one, so it went into here. This one went into here. And this guy went into here. All right, so that's how I ran it, and then I got rid of, I moved this wire. That's what I found easiest. Now, if this isn't an option for you, because uh, this wire run is too short, what you can do, so if you aren't able to sort of repurpose that uh, cable that was running from your timer one all the way back to your HRV, there is another way you can do it. So here you still get your HRV. Here you get your timer one, and timer two, and here you get your new timer three. So these would be connected just like they would normally be, aren't changing that. What we do is you'd run, put a junction box. in your mechanical room, uh, just surface mount it so you get access to it. And what you do is you'd run a new cable um, from your HRV into your timer three. This is your new timer. You'd take your cables that were running from timer one to the HRV and you'd put them into the junction box. So you got these cables now running this way and then you run a second cable from your timer to your junction box and then you tie these together so like that just pigtail them and you'll be good to go and now you've created the circuit coming out of the HRV to timer three 
back to this junction box in your mechanical room that's accessible at all times because anytime you're joining wires it needs to be in a junction box that's accessible um, at any time so surface mounting that in your mechanical room is pretty convenient you could put it right next to your, your hrv and then you've got wires going to timer one and then to timer two so the only thing to keep in mind or the two things to keep in mind are one um, taking those pictures as i stated earlier uh, to make sure that your greens are going to greens and and you're staying consistent there and they're hooked up to the hrv the same way that it was originally when it was working uh, alternately you can go back to the manual and double check that uh, you got your colors right but hey if it was working before you started messing with it just take a quick picture and put it back the same way we're just adding in this last timer the last thing to keep in mind is the number of timers that you have in the circuit. So uh, we had uh, uh, five as being our max number of timers on uh, my unit. Oh, hopefully you found this useful and uh, will help you in your project. This did come from a subscriber suggestion and question that he left in a comment of uh, another video of mine. So. If you do have anything that you'd like me to try, follow up on, um, or do a video on, uh, please let me know in the comment section below. If it is something that I have some knowledge of or have done in my basement remodel, uh, I would be more than willing to cover it for you and uh, share that knowledge and help you guys continue with your projects. So uh, please, uh, please subscribe and please give it a like if you found it useful. Thanks guys.